What's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me today. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit the like button because that is the most important thing you can do for me on this channel. What it does is that it helps to make sure that those who are subscribed to the channel will indeed get their notifications and it also helps to push this video through the YouTube algorithm as well. Secondly, if you're new to the channel or maybe you've been ghost watching this channel for quite some time now, please do me a favor and yourself a favor by hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell notification next to the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. And lastly, please make sure you share this video out on your social media platforms to your family and friends to inform them on this news and information. And yes, yeah, that does also help to give me a slight boost in the YouTube algorithm as well. I will admit it. But with the introduction out of the way, let's now get into today's news. And today we are headed back over to Gotham City, formerly known as New York City. But not to talk about the migrant crisis as I normally do, Today, what I want to do is take a stop by at, I believe it is ABC Studios, so that we can visit the women of The View, because that's where the Black Messiah, Charlemagne the God, is. Yes, recently, the Black Messiah, Charlemagne the God, stopped by on The View uh, to indirectly endorse Joe Biden, as he's been doing throughout the entirety of this year, I should say, since the top of this year. As many of you know, because I discussed this so much as it pertains to exposing Charlemagne to God, because he came out last year and endorsed Joe Biden. And now as we fast forward to the upcoming election, many black Americans have buyer's remorse and have a sour taste in their mouth as it pertains to Joe Biden and them voting for him and feeling like they've been sold a lemon. Now what he has been doing is that he has been on a campaign to run around from media outlet to media outlet to media outlet, indirectly campaigning for Joe Biden, in which he will not verbally endorse Joe Biden. He will not verbally say, I'm going to vote for Joe Biden. But what he does is critique Joe Biden by saying silly things like, well, I don't like Joe Biden and I think he's trash because he doesn't have main character energy, but then it will go on to double down when it comes to Donald Trump and say, I think Donald Trump is trash as well, but the reason I don't like him is because he's the spawn of Satan who's been sent here to destroy the world. When you give people those two options, one is the spawn of Satan and one doesn't have main character energy, well, what does that mean? Vote for the guy that doesn't have main character energy because the spawn of Satan, Donald Trump, is going to destroy us all. This is what he has been doing consistently. And why I refer to him as the Black Messiah is because whether you like it or not, and I'm not saying this because this is what I think or how I feel. I don't like Charlemagne the God. He is a fraud. But the reality is this. He has been propped up as this great black political figure in America to which literally since 2016, if you're running on the Democrat ticket to become president of the United States, you cannot run for president without coming through Charlemagne the God first. From 2016 up until this point, every presidential candidate who was on the side of the DNC that is running for president and or if you're a just liberal or quote progressive, JFK, RFK Jr. and Cornell West, you cannot run for president on that side of the political spectrum without coming through Charlemagne first. Because when you come through Charlemagne, you are now coming through the black community and speaking your peace to the black community. Now, I don't like it. I don't like that that's the case, but that's just the reality of what is. This is why I call him the black Messiah and the mainstream media continues to exalt him as such. So when I say it as tongue in cheek, I'm being facetious, I'm being sarcastic, but the reality is to the mainstream population, that's what he is. And recently when he was on The View this time, he was doing his normal same spiel in which he was endorsing Biden uh, indirectly, right? But what was interesting this time is that when he was asked, why won't you directly just say you're voting for Biden? Why won't you just say it? You know, the women on The View were pressuring him to just articulate it and have that come out of your mouth so that your millions of fans on the huge platform that you've been gifted by our heart radio can then take that run with it to the voting booth and vote for Biden. What he ended up doing when he answered the question, why he won't say it directly. He indirectly exposed killer Mike. And I thought that that was very interesting 
Because the one thing about Killer Mike, for anyone who has been paying attention to him, to which, you know, most people have not been, because once again, you know, uh, Killer Mike isn't the Black Messiah, Charlemagne the God is. So people pay attention to him more than Killer Mike. But Killer Mike has been on the same campaign as Charlemagne the God, as well as Stephen A. Smith, as well as Charles Barkley, right? They're all on the same campaign of pretending to not support Joe Biden. But what I want you to do here is take a moment to listen to what Charlemagne had to say when he was asked why you won't directly support Joe Biden and listen to how he indirectly exposed Killer Mike by showing that he is a closeted Biden supporter. He just won't verbally articulate it himself because that is something that Killer Mike has consistently refused to do whenever he gives an interview. He consistently refuses to get behind Joe Biden and plays the same game as Charlemagne the God where he claims that they're both trash. And you know what? I'm just going to focus on, you know, local politics. But that's enough of me over explaining it. Let's get into what Charlemagne the God had to say. Let's get real. Now, you have a massive platform reaching millions of listeners. And you and I have talked about this mm -hmm. before. You endorsed Joe Biden back in 2020. But this time around, you say you're not going to endorse anybody. Charlemagne, now is not the time, in my opinion, to sit this one out. Yeah. Oh, I'm not, I, I didn't say that. I never said I was sitting it out. That, what you going to do? I'm definitely voting in November. But what okay. I like to focus on is issues, not individuals. Like, you know, when but you why not endorse? Huh? Why not endorse Biden? Because if I'm sitting here telling my listeners that, you know, you have somebody out there who is a threat to democracy, you have somebody out there who said they want to, you know, suspend the Constitution to overthrow the results of an election. You saw this person, you know, try to lead an attempted coup of this country. And I'm telling people that this guy is a threat to democracy. Have you ever read Project 25? Mm -hmm. There's only two candidates out there. So there are there are more than two candidates out there. And it goes to show how much of a fraud Charlemagne is uh, as well, uh, because when you take Charlemagne and you take his point of view, his alleged perspective, what all the things that he allegedly stands for. Cornell West is literally the embodiment of everything that Charlemagne the God allegedly stands for concerning what he wants in a president and radical change in America, radical progressive change in America. But he refuses to get behind Cornell West. Why? Because he's a DNC puppet. He's a DNC puppet. So instead of getting behind Cornell West, who he knows very well, instead he is going to tell you we only have two options when that's not the case. With a platform as large as yours, you can do real damage by endorsing Cornell West and telling your viewers to get behind him. But we all know what would happen if he did that. If he did that, he would lose the platform that he has been gifted by iHeart just like that. It would go away and he'd be on here uh, on YouTube with me, OK, using stream yards to record videos and go live. But let's get back into uh, what Charlemagne had to say. I'm going to rewind it back just a little bit since I interrupted him. And people that this guy is a threat to democracy. Have you ever read Project 25? Mm -hmm. There's only two candidates out there. So if I'm saying that about this individual, the choice is clear, right? And I saw, I've seen, I've, I've seen you all do this on The View before. Yes, the choice is clear. You're voting for Biden. You're endorsing Biden indirectly without verbally saying it. I saw y'all do this to Killer Mike when he was on The View. And Killer Mike literally sat here and said, hey, uh, you know, I supported Keisha Lance Bottoms. I supported um, uh, Ralph Warnock. I supported uh, 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 John Ossoff, right, in, in, yeah. in, in Georgia. And he said, you should support uh, the, the, the people that I've supported. You should support the person who the people I've supported are supporting. Mm -hmm. OK. That's y'all opportunity to say, well, clearly he's talking about President Biden, why do y'all need us to say this if we don't feel comfortable saying? Why do you all need us to say it if we don't feel comfortable saying it? He said clearly, and him and Killer Mike are very good friends. He said clearly Killer Mike is indirectly endorsing Biden as well. Clearly Killer Mike is telling you vote for Biden. Why do you all need us to say it? And I thought that it was very important and interesting, I should say, that he said, why do you all need us to say it when we feel uncomfortable saying it? All right. The reason they feel uncomfortable saying it and closing that they don't want to say it is, you know, for lack of better words, and I hate to say this because it sounds so cliche, uh, that what they're attempting to do, people like Killer Mike, Charlamagne the God, Stephen A. Smith, Charles Barkley, um, what they're doing is that they're playing Jedi mind tricks. <laughs> okay. They're playing Jedi mind tricks um, with the general population. And the way that they're playing Jedi mind tricks is this. What they want to be able to say is that in 2024, 
I never told you to vote for Biden. I never endorsed him. And I verbally never told you to vote for him. All I did was critique him, which is all everyone, everyone is doing, all these black celebrities that got behind Biden and endorsed him last election. But because they see that he has left such a sour taste in black America's mouth, now they want to play the game of I'm a skeptic and I'm just going to critique him. And I'm going to do whatever it is that I'm going to do, but I'm not going to verbalize the fact that I'm going to vote for Biden. Therefore, it can't be misconstrued as me endorsing him. And therefore, you can never come back and say, hey, you voted for him in case you told us to vote for him in case he does get back into office and continues to be the catastrophe that Nikki Haley just recently said that he is. Because if Biden gets back in office again for another four years, it'll be a continuation of the catastrophe that we've seen thus far times 10, in my opinion. And in case that does happen, what they don't want in order for them to save credibility with the black community, they cannot have it where you can point the finger back at them and say, hey, you told us to do this. Charlemagne, Killer Mike. Stephen A. Smith, Charles Barkley, all these guys, they're going to say, oh, no, we didn't. We didn't tell you to do anything. All we did was critique. You made the decisions on your own. So if you chose to vote Biden again, if you chose to vote for uh, obliteration, you know, then that's what you get. You chose oblivion. You voted for oblivion and oblivion is what you received. But don't put that on Charlemagne to God because he never told you to do that. That's just what you assume that he told you to do. And that's the game that they're trying to play. So with all that being said, that does it for today's news. I want to thank you all for joining me today. Please hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Share this video out on your social media platforms. And also forget, don't forget to follow me on Telegram at TD Media Group. The link to my Telegram is in the description box below. And will be pinned in the comment section as well. Thank you for your time. And until the next video, peace and have a great afternoon.